Okay guys, I'm back out here in my shop and uh, I wanted to share with y'all an email that I got the other day. Um, this is from uh, Dale and I believe he's out there in California. I think that's where he's at. Uh, it says, hello Dave, he says, I found a project in the American Woodworker in the August, September of 2013 issue that I wanted to try and make. I got the top, middle, and bottom drawn in cut 2D, but I'm having trouble, or having a lot of trouble, making the wooden gears for it. I was wondering if you could give me a few pointers on how to make wooden gears. So he also sent me a PDF file of uh, the plans here, and I guess I don't really know what this thing is. It's uh, some kind of a rotating display case. Uh, maybe for cigars, or uh, I think he said you could stick like uh, if you're a wood turner and make the wooden pins, you could put those in there and display them. But anyway, I guess you can see this. It's got some uh, a small gear on top here you use for a knob, and a bunch of small follower gears here, and then a big gear in the middle. Uh, and then it's got dimensions and things with all the different parts. Um, now here's one of the, this is the larger gear. But anyway, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how easy it is to draw something like this in uh, VCAR Pro or it's going to be pretty much the same thing for Cut 2D. I know a lot of you guys are finishing up your machines and got them running and, and are looking for stuff to, uh, to cut. But anyway, I'm going to try to help you out, Dale. We'll show you how to make this uh, gear on, uh, of course, I'll be using VCAR Pro. Uh, and we'll just show you how uh, easy it can be to draw these. Probably going to go in the house and do it from my office computer just because it's much faster and it's trying to rain out here too. And you get with this metal building here, I get a lot of noise on the roof. So I'm going to go in the office and we'll uh, start drawing this up. Okay, I've got my VCAR Pro opened up here and I'm going to start out uh, drawing this large gear here. And basically, when you when you get ready to start drawing anything, you kind of just have to, if you don't know where to start, you just have to start drawing, you know, whatever information they give you here. So, I know that this is basically, this gear, gear is basically a circle, 5 and 3 eighths diameter. So, I'm going to start out here. I'll create a new file. I'll make it like 6 by 6. I think this is 3 eighths thick. I want to make sure my center datum is in the... Um, middle position here. And I'll click OK there. Then I'll go, I want to create a circle. I want the center point of the circle to be 0, 0. I want a diameter. And I want to make it 5.375 or 5 and 3 eighths. So I create that. Then I know that this thing has a 5 8 circle which is 0.625 right in the center. That's what it mounts to the drive shaft. So I'll go ahead and put that there. Then I also know by the drawing that it has a all these center point of the, the circle where this 3 diameter circle is where the gear uh, teeth are is on a circle with a radius of 2 and 15 30 seconds. So I'm going to come over here and select the circle again. I want my center to be 0, 0. I want it to be radius this time. And I'm going to hit 2, space, and then 15, slash 32 for 15, 30 seconds. And then you can actually hit the equal key, and that will convert that to uh, a decimal number. So now I can hit that, and I'm just going to use that as a construction line. And now I know that I need to put a 3 8 diameter circle. You see you've got 20 of them here. And I need to put that at the intersection of that line, that circle I just drew. And uh, straight up, you know, straight up 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle. I want it to be, the X will be 0, the Y is going to be up here at uh, that intersection that I just made. So that's going to be 2 and 15, 30 seconds. And again, I can just hit the equal key and that will give me that dimension. And then I want that circle to be a diameter and I want it to be 3 eighths or 375. So I put that right there. 
Now I can come down and I need to make these lines. As you can see there, you know, where this gear kind of angles off there, I'm going to make those lines there. So I'm going to just make my line command and I'm going to hit the intersection uh, right here where this side of the circle intersects with that bigger circle. And I'm just going to come out here and go try to get this at 55 degrees. There we go. So I've got one line drawn and now to make sure that I get the exact same angle on the other side, I'm just going to mirror this line over. So I'm going to highlight that line hit the mirror command right here and I want to flip it horizontally. I want to put one right over here and I want it to, to mirror up around this center line here. So I make sure that I have my flip about job center box checked and I also want to create a mirrored copy because I don't want to get rid of this one. I want to save it and then create another one there. So I can hit flip horizontal and that puts the other one right there. So now that I've got that done, now I can come back here and I can highlight all of this that I've just drawn. And I want to put this all the way around this circle and I know that there are 20 teeth. So I can come over here and hit create an array, a circle array of copies. And I want the center point of the rotation to be 0, 0. And there are 20 copies that I need because they're 20 teeth and I want it to be all the way around the circle so 360 degrees so I can hit copy and you can see how that puts all that around the around the gear. Now so you can see it's starting to look a little bit like a gear. So now what I need to do is I need to take my trim command. Well first I'm going to highlight this this big circle here because I don't need it anymore. That's I can go ahead and highlight it and hit delete and get rid of that. Now I can just take my trim command and go around and get rid of everything else that I don't need. Just trim all these lines and when I get done you'll see that you'll have your gear. Okay, so now that I've got all the lines deleted, you can see that we have our gear. And it's basically just the same procedure to draw the smaller one. I'll go ahead and uh, save this. And this will be the larger gear. And let's see if I've got time here, we'll, uh, we'll try and draw this smaller gear. I'll go back and create new. I'll go ahead and leave, well, I'll make this a little smaller. I'll make it four by four by three-eighths. And then this smaller gear is, let's see, it is two and three-eighths in diameter. So I'm going to create, start out creating my circle with my center point zero, zero. I want a diameter and I want it to be two and three-eighths diameter. So I put that right there. And I know that this gear, when it, there's the gear is basically the same, but you have six of them that have a 3 16 hole through the center, and then you have one of them that uses a 3 8 hole for the uh, door axle. So what I'm going to do is instead of drawing two different small gears, I'm going to just put both of those holes in here, and then when you're uh, tool fitting this, uh, you will only need to select one or the other depending on which one you're going to use. So I'm going to put a 3 16 hole right there. And then I'm going to come back and I'll put a 375 hole right there. And then you can use the same drawing for either one of those gears. You don't, you, you know, because that's the only difference. Uh, so uh, now we're going to go back and we'll see where the, let's see where the, uh, okay, they're showing the radius of that, where the 3 8 hole goes is 15 16 So I'll come back here, hit the circle command. Again, I'm going to put 0, 0 as the center point. I want diameter, and I want 15 16 And then again, I can hit the equal sign. I'll turn that to 9375. Whoops, I had that for diameter. Let me back up here, because that's not correct. Okay, so we'll hit this. 
forgot to check the radius box. Okay, now I want 0.9375, which is 15 sixteenths. Okay, there, that's right. So then again, I'll come back and put a 3 eighths uh, circle. And I want this to be, again, we want it to be right here at the intersection. So it's x0, y is going to be 15 sixteenths or 0 0.9375. And again, I forgot to check that box. So I want 375. I want that one. We'll get rid of this one. I keep forgetting to check the radius or diameter box. Okay, so there's the 3 eighths hole. And on this smaller gear, there are eight of these. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lines on here, and I'm going to make sure that I get this at 55 degrees so it matches that other gear. Let's see if I can get it to right there. Okay, so there's the 55 degrees. Again, I need to mirror this one over to the other side. Make sure I've got those two boxes checked. So I get that one mirrored over. Now I'm going to highlight this, go to my array just like we did before, only this time I'm going to change the number of copies to 8. And again I need to make sure that this, the uh, rotation center is 0, 0. So we've got that set to 8. Oops, did something around there. Let me back up here. I like this. What did I have wrong here? Yeah, 0. Okay, there we go. I didn't have, I guess I didn't have that center right. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the uh, eight teeth here, and again, it's just a matter of going through and deleting all the um, lines that you don't need. First thing to do, I guess, is to highlight that one because you don't want to trim; it'll take longer. You can just highlight that whole line, hit delete and you can get rid of that one. Then you can hit your trim vector thing and just go along here like I did before. And there we have it. There's the small view. Okay, so I hope I was able to show you how, uh, how easy it is to draw uh, a gear in VCarb Pro, and like I said, the same. You know, I'm sure that I I don't have Cut 2D, but I'm sure the the CAD part of it is probably exactly the same. Um, and also, I want y'all to keep in mind that I don't draw in this stuff. You know, I use uh, SolidWorks to model everything that I do and always import it. So when I sat down after I got that email from Dale, and I said, well, let me see if I can show him how to draw this. I thought. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing either. So I, it took me all of about maybe five minutes to figure out how to do it with VCar Pro. So it's it's really easy. Of course, it helps probably having a lot of CAD experience like I've got. But um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you that it's it's really not that hard if you just know to take it in steps. Uh, you know, create extra lines, construction lines to help you locate objects, and uh, and then just trim them off what you don't need. And that's how you. Uh, that's how you draw that gear. So I hope that works for you, Dale. If you still have any problems, let me know. I can always send you the, the file. I can save it as a DXF or whatever and send you the, the one that I drew. But uh, anyway, I think I'm probably going to do another little video. Uh, I'll do another one in a day or two trying to show somebody something other than a gear uh, because I think I can maybe give you all some tips on, on how to break a drawing down into simple steps and and maybe help you guys out where you can get going cutting some parts on your machine. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate all the new subscribers I get. I get Man, my phone just gets blown up every day uh, with uh, notifications about new subscribers. So I appreciate all you guys subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, and if you like what you're seeing on here, click the like button down below. Uh, as always, you can look in the description of this video down below and you'll see the link to my website. There's lots of free plans and things like that on there. Stuff I've made with the CNC, without the CNC, and a combination of both. So uh, anyway, check that out. So again, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time.